gonna do part 29 with all of Poppy's quests. So, hello, welcome, and let's get started. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing. I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Okay, so when you start their chain, it's very much talk to them and be done. <laughs> I hate to see a creature get put down like that. But trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. Oh, she's talking about something else already. Dang, girl. I have some promising news about the location of our Heberdeen dragon friend and where to return her you don't know what. Hey, Poppy. Let's do the next part of her quest. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What did you find out about the measles the having a K is ridiculous. I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right. I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. I wonder if dragon eggs have you. Here we are. Oh, dang. I okay. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. For Poppy, we, we will get in trouble. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying mm. about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. Or food please stay on foot. Um, yeah, no, I have no interest oh, in keeping it. Thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. All right, let's go die together. There she is above us. She did make it home safe. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Yeah, it's not good that she's here now. I'm, I'm trying to drop this off like an Amazon package and dip. She's trying to eat me like a dog treat. Hold on. Okay, I'm not Donkey from Shrek. Do we just keep walking? Yeah, 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 me too. I'm more sick. Oh! Dang. I, I'm more, I'm more sicker now. LOL. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. Oh, wolves. 
Don't turn around. Just let it happen. I wonder how many they bring. Yes, yes, don't tell us. At least ten, usually. Hold on. Stay there. Ooh. Revenio. Oh. I'm sorry. Are doc, dark mongrels not just dogs? Or are these people masquerading as dogs? There's a whole dragon skull here, bro. Crazy. Let's keep it pushing. She said not to fly. It seems like it's not optional. <laughs> Where are you, Smithy? Thought you were joining in Borneo. I know you have your hopes about the fighting ring, but the true galleons are in <sighs> Acromantulus. Egypt, perhaps. It's just a relief. That's what we're doing anymore. Yeah. How charming. They keep in touch with each other. Revenue. Yeah, sometimes I, I don't feel like reading words that aren't real. <laughs> From a distance, I wish I knew the rest of the song, but I really, really, really don't. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the Revelio. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebridean's love sheep. How lucky for us. Right? Damn. I should have kept one of the sheep I turned into a ball. Maybe I could turn it back, you know? <laughs> Where are those goats? Hmm. You think she'd care about the difference between a bear and a... Actually, I think sheep and goat make the same noises. Huh. Who knew? Or it's like a man. Hmm. Okay, don't quote me on that. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen an uncooked goat in a long time. Oh. She must have been starved to pick off a grapple. Or just raring for a fight. Revenue. How many grapplehorns are left in the world? Because I've seen one in the wild. And there's a dead one right here. Oh, she picked off two. Hold on now. She a real one. How many are left? Is she ending like straight up bloodlines out here? What was that? It's me getting folded by a dragon. Where my egg, dog? Poppy about to get us absolutely destroyed. I set you free. You remember me. We don't. Can you can you pass her that memo? Okay. She fires two shots and then she dips. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. Yes, sir. Oh, we ended up right below her. That's is that where we really wanted to be? Revelio. Watch out. It's her domain. She'll make sure. I'll show you my domain. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, she only does one now. Ha ha! He better fly off. It's a little too warm if you ask me. <laughs> Funny guy, huh? But the I way he she listened to reason. I normally try, but we're well past that. The way he just quips about everything is kind of funny. Uh, I might 
wait this one out. Actually, yoink. <laughs> Leaving quickly. Brilliant. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There's the nest. We're almost there. I like caves. Why is every bridge here broken? <laughs> Does she just hate wood? Bring it back, please. Please. Do dragons sit on their eggs like chickens? She eats it. I'm like, oh. Mm. Chill out, Bobby. Hold on. Hey, I remember you from freeing me, you know, gang. Oh, could you imagine if we got a dragon mount, guys? That would be unstoppable. I never land, I just keep flying the rest of the game. Every live stream is just me flying around. Uh, I was joking about her eating it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, why look like they're about to kiss? That was weird. <laughs> that was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Are you mad? I want one. I was hoping to look around for a moment, if you don't mind. Take it all in. I suppose we could catch our breath. <laughs> I'm ready whenever you are. Rebellion. I mean, look at these great things here. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna dip. <laughs> I can't believe any of what just happened. Still taking it all in. No, I think I'm ready to leave if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue mm. at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. Mm. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... They started unless that back what? up unless elsewhere. they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. They're going after her grandma. How could I have been so blind? Uh, poached egg. That being said, I hate poached egg. All right, let's get started with the next one. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Hauntel Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. Mm. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Are they about to make it extinct? Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. So a hummingbird. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch mm. is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. 
The golden Synergit's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. Hmm. If wizard the poachers kind. found some now, I can't bear to think about the Sounds horrific like way they'd be bred and killed for profit. A group of people that can't take care of the things. Where exactly are these snitches allegedly <laughs> hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. What do you mean a handful of locations? Like, doesn't the moon shine all over Earth? Are they in space? Like... <sighs> I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it. But I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much as somebody. Beard. Natty. Genius. Oh. The centaurs. Whoops. They'd want the snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Just just say yes. It's probably a centaur like three feet that way. Ooh. Alright. Hey Poppy. Let's get it done. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. I'm not sure about this. I can't imagine they're fond of being surprised. We don't have a choice if we want to help the Snidgets. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. They're gonna kill us. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. <laughs> what is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. I have a lot of secrets That's right. to hide. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- It's the goblin killer. That's what they're gonna say. I'm like, um. They cut. Hey, 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 hey. What do you think you're doing here, human? Please. We were hoping to speak with you. Ah, I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No, never. We're here because we need your help. Enough. You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. That's not what he wanted to say. Avada Kedavra. <laughs> Leave them be, Alec. Oh. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. Except they will leave here. Several hundred goblins. A couple humans and <laughs> Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <clears throat> okay. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? No. I've been in this for a steady this whole game. Follow me. But I. The snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means yet. Please help us find the snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be?
In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. She almost got me sent to... <laughs> I don't <laughs> understand. So the moonlight Crazy. mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with Snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? <laughs> Fire. Isn't moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. Watch it be red, you know. Uh... I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him. What with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. I'm gonna go directly to the cave. I'll let you know what I find. YOLO. Is she gonna leave? Maybe I have to turn around. But, eh. Never mind. <laughs> Ooh, a bird. I might have low-key interrupted her. So, are you familiar with the hamlet of Irondale? It's south of the castle. I think the cave where Doran wants us to find the moonstone may be located there. Near there. Poppy. Oh. Taste the rainbow. Alright, time for the next part of Poppy's quest. You made it. Hell yeah, I made it. Let's kick some butt, aren't we? Come on. <clears throat> I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours, and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Anything you say? Did you discover why people avoid this cave? Ridiculous, really. Rumor was that the cave drove people mad. I couldn't find any account by someone who had been in the cave, though. So either it is a rumor, or anyone who went in wasn't in any state to speak of it afterwards. <laughs> I just well, really we're risk here. it. We might as well have a look. Agreed. Mm. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. I, I guess we're gonna find out firsthand. Ew. A spider cave with her? Okay. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out. Ooh. What is that? It's another aggressive one. It's okay. Let me Good for you. Did it spew out chomping cabbages? I think she spewed out chomping cabbages. Rebellion. Crazy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Our game crashed. Rebellion. Yeah. Um. I don't know where the glitch came from. But we had to go back. Lumos. Ooh, it's just what I need. Do this part first. Because there's a pretty good chance if you try to take it into the next room, it's going to glitch. Let's see. Ugh. 
What? So, uh... How do I... Oh, how do I... How do I... Reach... <laughs> uh, let's try it again. Oh, hold on. Let's see. So we climb here. How do we... There we go. Beautiful. Another identified object. Alright, let's get going. Ooh. Was... I guess I'm guessing that's not the endangered species. Foibers. I beg your pardon. This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Foipa's song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. And again, I ask, why are we in here? <laughs> Poppy, Poppy Quest kind of dangerous. Yo, I thought, um, I thought Natty was reckless, but you know. Maybe not. Uh, there's a pathway leading this way. I just don't know what. Let's see if Repara will get us there. Repara. Revelio. Cause there's a door there but I don't see anything this way interesting all right let's get it uh we'll deal with that later maybe I, I don't even know I don't even know <laughs> door number one if the moonstone Thank is you. here Rebellion. I wonder if it's being protected Alright, there are spiders in there. Arachnophobia. And. Revelio. How do we get that thing back there? Hello? Will this wall blow up? Will this wall blow up? Will this wall blow up? Oh, wait. That blew up. Um. Okay, nothing really happened. Nothing wow. really happened. First the troopers and now this. Lumos. Lumos. Hello. There's one. Oh, it shows you what opens what. Oh, that's cool. So we need that one. And this one. Let's open this. Nice. Alright, next. We need this one. And this one. I opened the first one straight on luck. Forty-three dollars, and then we need this one. And is it this one? For our other moth. Lumos. Oof. Puzzle. Always ruining my fun. Lumos. Another obstacle. No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Okay. Uh, Dittany. Some coins. Uh, can we climb this? No. No, we can't. 
Uh, let's see. It's beautiful. Uh huh. It's. Oh, this is where we could see from there. <laughs> That's funny. No. Oh, it takes three moths. Okay. Wait, I think we only have two. Where's the other one? Oh, this is about to be interesting. Where do we get the th Lumos? Oh, there was a third moth earlier on, wasn't there? What does this do? Let's find out. I guess we don't need that third moth from the back. From earlier on in the game. Uh, let's grab this one. Come with me. <gasps> Would I die? Would I be stuck? There we go. I don't know. I kind of want to find out. But I kind of don't imagine being stuck. I think maybe we should jump. Unless this whirlpool sends us back to the beginning. Uh, there's stuff you can burn over there, but maybe at the end of the game. Let's not let's not Lumos. get lost in the middle of a quest. There we go. You did it. I keep always wanting to talk about the Harry Potter movies. Array. Where is that? I was hoping we wouldn't have to do this. Nope. All right, let's hear it. Let me Okay. I lifted it. I lifted it. Let's see, maybe. It's not Flipendo? I guess not. That's crazy. I don't know what does it. For some reason, that second frog would not get flipped onto its stump like upwards, so I could hit its stomach. It was just like, mm -mm, mm -mm. look where the water's bubbling. How odd! Should we take a closer look? You read my mind. Sh did I? Are you guys insane? I guess let's get floored. Dive. Drown. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. We're making some waves, I guess, guys. Side I can't use. Revelio while swimming. Don't gas now. You brought us into this cave to die. Merlin, it's even more beautiful close up. Revelio. It's got to be here. I just know it. I don't think I can climb this. Moving on. When in doubt, cast fire at Given it. Given what swoopers are known to do, I never saw Rebellion. to see this many of them. 
I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. Confringo! I was just thinking how freaky the creatures haven't been here, assuming this is where the Moonstone is. Which what? means we're one step ahead of them. Yes, ma'am. Hopefully we get to keep it that way. Because poaching is bad. Let's listen for some videos. It's like staring directly at the moon. Oh, wow. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the henge. Where's the henge? Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. I don't know what it is, but every time I'm with her, she's like, Do you want to stay longer? Like, what are we talking about? Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. Whatever it is, it had better have to do with Snidgets. The clock is ticking in that regard, isn't it? Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. Of course, flying won't work. <laughs> I was about to fly for real. How's your gran doing, by the way? Nothing keeps gran down. She set up a catawalling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely nope. she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Nope. There we go. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. He's just like free climbing. Revelio. I didn't see anything nearby. Let's go put Dane. I think we can safely say we know where the moonstone goes. On top. No? Oh, whoops. It's a moon cap. <laughs> I can laugh too, I, I guess. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a moon calf dance. Do you know how rare it is to see even one? They only ever happen under a full moon. Hmm. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind a on the ground happens. normal? Once All part month. of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same, though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Gran I've managed to see not one, but two Moongarf dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing, or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually, I... Got Spill the beans, girl. I'd love to hear about how you and Highwing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, Highwing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed Highwing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted moon calves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen. A good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? <gasps> uh oh. You see, the night I freed Highwing was also I the night it. I ran He's away from poacher. home. I knew it. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. I knew it. I knew it. Remember I, the the first time we ran into the centaurs when we were doing that 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 tent side mission. I was like, watch her be a poacher. I'm going I'm, to I'm clip it. I'm going to clip it right here. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? Watch I her be a poacher. The poachers talking. Crazy. Merlin, 
I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in. But the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with High Wing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it. I'm gonna report it, but it's fine, you know? I'm gonna report her, because I'm a snitch. Not a golden snitch. A ni what was it like growing up in a family of poachers? The thing I remember most was how much we moved around. Always chasing the next big kill. It was chaotic and dangerous and nowhere a child should ever grow up. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving that dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo trying to make their fortunes there. Acromantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. We were around so many poachers in the tent. Were you not worried about being recognized? Poachers are nomadic, and most of the ones in the area aren't any I'd grown up with. That said, I suspect someone must have recognized me. That's how they got to Gran. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol. And we've got poachers to beat. I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Crazy. I know how to feel. I know how to feel. She an op for real. Ugh. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. Doran about to pop up like, Hey! <laughs> Give me that moonstone. Can centaurs leave the forest? Headmaster, I would like to report a crime, or should I say a criminal? A criminal! She! You're lucky. Abracadabra. Anyways. <laughs> Poppy and Op for real. Crazy. All right, let's see what she got for us next. Revelio. I think I know where we can find Doran. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest, and we can tell him about the symbol the moon calves made. And you say they made it after you placed the moonstone. Do you know why, or what it means? Does it have to do with the Snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas, and yet only run so deep. Just say I don't know. <laughs> it's good to see you again, Doran. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did, and I am glad to see that you are both safely returned. I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best. Deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. You knew the poachers would try and kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend. But I shall say that I was not surprised. 
it was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me, until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. I believe the symbol created by the moon calves dance marks the place the Snidgets are hidden. And serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Please go on. I have seen that symbol only once, on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The Snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. What makes you so sure the symbol is where the Snidgets are? I do not know. It is what I have read in the stars. Fortunes play out as they are intended. I am merely a messenger. I shall say that fortune favors us today. That you would show me a symbol whose provenance I recognize is not coincidence, but fate. You said you divined a series of events before our paths crossed. What were they? I saw the arrival of a stranger, the threat of an enemy, and the return of an old friend. Old I friend? I believe now that you are the strangers. Mm. The poachers are the enemy, and the old friends are the Snidgets. Oh, wow. I also saw two places tied to these events. The cave with the moonstone and the henge. The latter was bathed in moonlight. Some of that was so vague. and then some of that If you're right about this place, then we should make our way there. I shall see you there. We How... cannot afford to lose the Snidgets once again. My question is... If they're his close friend, I guess. I guess. I don't know how he lost them the first time, but I didn't know they could leave the Forbidden Forest. So, there we go. This might be the last part of her quest. Let's see. I got here as soon as I could. Did you see the symbol above the entrance? It's the one the Mooncalf's made at the Henge. Of course, Doran implied as much, but to see it up there. Could this actually be where the Snidgets are hidden? Let's find out. Doran's waiting for us just up ahead. I'm ready if you are. I wonder if we're gonna have to fight. Actual snidgets. I'm It is a little strange we haven't heard it. If we're lucky, they're still pouring over Graham's research. There was a fair amount. We on the other the hand have Doran to guide us. Even if the poachers do somehow stumble upon this place, we shall be long gone. Oh, it's Sneasels. Hey, you guys. We already have one. No need for more. Is this a cave? What's over here? That's interesting. Uh, oh, we're supposed to walk through. Oh, what is this? Hey, buddy. Greetings. I hope we haven't kept you waiting long, Doran. Not at all. Then again, it is not I who awaits your arrival. Do you have the Moonstone with you? We do. Good. It is as important to what happens next as both of you are. So what does happen next? What are these pillars here? A safeguard, I suspect. There is only one way to find out. And as for how to go about that, the two of you may know better than anyone. Okay, so he's telling me to guess. <laughs> uh, oh. Okay. Can I take it back out? Okay, no. So it's supposed to be in there. We're looking for... I honestly don't know, but I'm guessing flower... And unknown Pokemon. I wonder if the pillars move at all. They do. They do. 
shield. Right? Maybe? Uh huh. And then. Unknown looks like that one. Actually, it's facing. Yeah, to the left. Let's see. I have a feeling the shadow is supposed to be pointing. Wait, but there's another one here. Does that one have a hole? That one does have something. It is filled in. Uh, give me a sec. Let's see. I wonder if the shadow is supposed to be on this versus uh, the pillars on it. Let's find out. Accurate. Perhaps it has to do with the light in the darkness. Yeah. Okay. And now to cast the shadow on that thing. That did it. Look, Doran, a doorway. I suspect you all incendio. Confirm. At least for a time. Oh, okay. You're not coming in with us. If the Snidgets are here, the herd will want to see the truth of it for themselves. Elec, especially. Go on without me. I will rejoin as soon as I am able. Oh, it's a big body truck. I'm good. Actually, let's commit violence. Cook it. Sorry about that. <sighs> Mild interruption. Rebellion. Okay. Uh, hopefully, it being a Rebellion. cave doesn't mean spiders. <laughs> so many books. You haven't seen my grand study. Nerd. All right, no spiders, no spiders, no spiders. This place must have been built to protect them. They had nothing to fear. What makes you say that? Rebellion. The poach camps always felt oppressive. It's hard to explain, but the feeling was palpable. At least to me. The sense I get here is of safety and calm, quite the opposite of the poacher camps. Open sesame. Uh, I'm not that lucky. But yeah. Ooh. There's something up there. How do we get upstairs? Oh. Oh, snap. I thought it was about to kill me. Not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. I like how she's like, yeah, I'm not following this dude. He's trying to get us killed. And am. And am. Dying is part of life, right? Jump! <laughs> Alright, let's see. Bombada. Revelio. Lumos. Bombada. Confirm.
creepy. Very creepy. Revelio. Whoever built this place certainly liked to read. And the books are all about creatures. Your gran would love it here. She would. I can't wait to tell her all about it. Lumos. Lumos. seems to be but how to get through <laughs> Let's go see if there's a clue somewhere. That's kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, I just praised the box for not flipping me off. And then it flips me off. Like you talk too fast, nerd. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh boom. And jump. There we go. This one's purple, so I'm gonna leave that there. Oh wow, that one ended up over there for fun. Um Incendio. just froze it and the doors opened I can't explain it I thought it would be a purple spell I was wrong that only took me a couple minutes what was that guess what Enjoy this. <laughs> Y'all came late. to dodge that. Ooh. Hang on, y'all. Hang on, y'all. Hey, guess what? And also? There we go. And then... There we go. And then... 
there we go. What y'all doing around here, okay? Stop, 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 stop. That was all of them. Are two of you I had hoped to return before it was too late. We're fine, but if you hadn't got here when you did, I let them hear it, Dory. You fought with us against your kind. I am glad to have witnessed this. I now believe all that Doran told me. They are the ones I saw. Finish your work here, brother. All the events you divined have not yet come to pass. Yeah, while they were talking, I was running around. It was a lightning storm anyways. <laughs> what is this? Ooh, Detonate. Did you be that color? There we go. Oh. Revelio. There we go. I was like, should I pick that up first? Okay, let's get after it. Um, that was a lot. That was a lot. Could be because I was wandering around for a little bit. <laughs> I'm starting to use these. <laughs> Whatever I remember. Um, well, excuse me. Oh. Wow. Oh, oh. It's simply just open. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Now, Where's the chicken? All that remains is to break the charm. Maybe don't. They seem you want fine. Us to... I only ever wanted to see them safe, which they are. You should do it. Or. Or, hear me out, no one do it. Where are the parents? I don't know if you get like three males. The species is done. Three females, the species is done. Chicken, see? Where are the parents? Merlin, they're lovely. But what happens now? They can't care for themselves, and surely once word gets out of their reappearance... <sighs> no harm will come to them. The centaurs will see to that. You have my word. Thank you, Doran, for helping us to find them and to fight I'm not talking them. smack, but how many centaurs are left? It is you who deserves the merit, child. You, know. you did what the poachers would never have. Remember that. You both fought bravely today. Allow us to carry the mantle from here. If it's all right, Doran, I think I'd like to stay behind and spend a little more time with the Snidgets. It'd be a shame if I was to... Bombarda. <laughs> But I guess that's Poppy's quest done, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in to part 29. Uh, if she sends another owl, I'll let you guys know. But as of right now, we got centaurs looking after chickens. You know, what could be weirder? <laughs> but I'll see you guys in part 30 where we do Deke's side missions. I'll see you guys there. Disney! You know, I've been working on my British accent. Could you tell that Hari 
Hari, you're a wizard. <laughs> Maybe my part 31 will just be, be me running around talking about the movies. Because the movies were fun. Do I like these? I guess I can. Just seems like for fun. Never mind it. Okay, yeah, but um, I'll see you guys in part 30. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed. Watching me rescue some chickens. Good job, guys. Alright, peace. I always forget that they have like a little talking section after their quest. Just the person I was hoping to see. Yeah, yeah, liar. I see Doran finally convinced you to leave the snidgets. If anyone can keep them out of poacher hands, it's the centaurs. And I wanted to thank you when the poachers ambushed us. I. It was nice not to face them alone. Of course. It's the sort of thing friends do for each other, isn't it? I suppose so. I am glad you came to Hogwarts. It's already been my best year. I wouldn't want a repeat of Hauntel Hall, of course, but I did enjoy the Three Broomsticks. Had no idea how lovely it was there. Had you never been to the Three Broomsticks? I used to spend most of my time with Highwing, and, well, I don't know how Serona feels about hippogriffs popping in for a butterbeer. Highwing's the only one I would have gone with. Or oh, Gran, of course. <laughs> I should just cook her right there, be like, loser. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Nothing wrong with that. Highwing's good company. She is. Although I am beginning to see the appeal of, uh, human friends. It was nice to talk about my parents and Gran with someone. And share highwing. Hmm. I don't suppose you've heard anything from your parents, have you? I haven't, <laughs> but I'm perfectly fine with that. Such a dynamic between her and um, Natty. Like, Natty's so just, you know, cares so much for her, her mom and her dad and all that. And this one's like, eh, bump up. <laughs> They're bad people. Does your gran know that we found the Snidgets? I couldn't hold it in any longer. I told her everything. She was livid that I'd been anywhere near the poachers, but she confessed that she was rather envious about the Snidgets. It has all been a pleasure, Poppy. Do try and stay out of trouble. Don't know that I can. We've taken on poachers twice now, successfully. I rather think you've helped me develop a taste for it. <laughs> and with centaurs as allies, I might actually go looking for trouble. You know, she she you makes me she laugh. For a butterbeer soon, perhaps Highwing can join us. <laughs> you ain't said nothing but a word. Beast friends. Okay, there we go. We're now we're done with our quest. Do I level up? Do I level up? Nope. <laughs>